Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I do a lot of homeschool curriculum reviews. I share with you guys some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, my honest reviews, and curriculum picks, things I'm using for my preschooler and for my first grader. So if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you guys join and subscribe. So click that subscribe button. This video is all about Evan Moore and they reached out to me to pick a couple books from their website and I was really excited. So I will have their website down below along with the Amazon link if you want to purchase something like this. But this is all about like a flip through and what I think about the books. Um, like I said, I do like Evan Moore. I have used Evan Moore in the past. I have their geography book that we will be using soon in the next um, half of our homeschool year for geography. And then I also have had science books in the past that we've used with my daughter when she was in preschool and some animal books that we really, really love. So I was really excited when they reached out to me. This book is a book that I chose because as you guys know, if you follow me, I am trying to find like some more math books for my first grader. I have looked high and low for everything, and I've gotten suggestions from you guys, which I'm so thankful for, um, but I think I'm going to stick with Bob Jones University, and um, I will share with you guys later what that book looks like. We have been just finishing up the K-5 book because we have it, and I wanted to kind of complete the book instead of go out and buy another one. So this, I thought, would work perfectly to supplement or to actually do on a day that we were just busy and we didn't have enough time to do math. So I always try to do math every day. But if you find yourself not getting to math, this is just a perfect um, solution. It's a daily math practice for grade one, and I'm sure they have a bunch of other grades. And like it shows you here, Monday through Friday, they have five daily problems, and it goes for 36 weeks. And I really, really enjoy it. We have done seven days so far, and we don't do it every single day. Like I said, we do it on the days that we might not have time to do math, or sometimes I will just give this to her for extra practice to try it out. The first few pages shows you the skill, scope, and sequence. So it starts off fairly easy, and my daughter noticed it was really easy. But this is also the first day, and usually they review like kindergarten stuff. So I'm sure every grade level will review what they learned the year before, much like all of other curriculums. So you can see day one, it's five questions, three plus one, five plus one. It's going horizontal, and then they have counts up to this number. They're looking at pennies, and then what I really like about this workbook is that they have word problems. So she has to read it, which is good because she's been reading a lot lately and it's great for an early reader. And then week one, day two is kind of looks the same, but they do addition going down vertically. And then I like this because they have to bubble in the answer and read the questions. So what is one more than two? And so she bubbled in three. It was really funny because she's like, what do I do? <laughs> like she's never done like the tests that we've done at school before that I grew up doing, which were like not my favorite tests to do whatsoever. Um, but the color of the circles and write the equation. So she got to write one pair, two pairs equals three. So really, really simple, but it gets a lot harder as you go along. So um, I noticed that on all of the activities, they're two pages long. So week, week one, day one, two, three, and four. And then the fifth one is always the full entire page. So it's maybe more interactive or has a different activity. So this one says, how many do you have? So this one was fun. She had four pockets. She had one zipper and two buttons on her pants that day. So that was really fun. And then activity two is to circle the pairs. A pair equals two. So she circled the pairs. You can color them. All of this stuff is black and white, so you can color and have fun. And then over here, which one's heavier? Again, I like that she can read the questions and independently do it on her own. Color the second one. I just like it because it's super simple. She's reading it. It's reading practice. She has to follow directions. She could do it on her own, pretty much. And then that is week two. So I will kind of skip to, let me skip to like week seven for you guys so you can see kind of like how it progresses. Week seven, day one, um, five minus three, they show you visually, and then four plus six. So they're doing addition, another word problem, which I like. I really love that they have them in almost each daily work um, page. And they're starting to do fractions. So which one is half? So she has to bubble in that one. And write a story, problem four, six plus one. On the fifth day, they have these charts. So count from one to 50. And they have to fill in the chart. How many ears do the, does a... How many ears do six elephants have? So all these questions here. And so this is week nine. 
and then a week and then day five you can see there is a bigger activity on like a full sheet so I'm gonna go try to go kind of in the middle ish let's see let's go to week 17 so you can see what's what's going on let's do week 18 <laughs> so week 18 they're doing double digits with subtraction and with addition and a lot of questions so they could read on their own so I like that it's progressing a lot it's talking about time which is pretty simple and it'll get harder I saw a little bit in the book they're talking about ones and tens which I like counting by fives all the things that we have done but this will be good for her to do on her own independently how many squares and all like some things that might be tricky to the eye but she can count so that is really cool write a subtra of subtraction story for the picture and then there is a graph so I really enjoy that they mix up all of the things that they're um, that they need to learn all the scope and sequence all of the standards that a first grader needs to have are all in this book and it's very very simple and nicely done and not too hard so if you have a kid that is kind of like reluctant with doing math and they don't really like it this is really less anxiety and only five questions and then if they get through the five questions if they want to do another day they can there's no rules to this you don't have to do one a day you can supplement like I said or if you're doing car math and you're in the car and you're going to a lot of appointments and you just have time to do one day of math you only need to answer five questions which is really simple but you know what it's cool because they get to do a little bit of math and sometimes five questions of math is just enough for your first grader. Now, if it's not challenging enough, you could always do a couple of days. So I really am enjoying this with my daughter. She's been doing it on her own so far, and as you can tell, it gets harder and harder, and it's very interactive, and I like how they talk about tallying, and they do charts and fractions and all of the things that they need to know in first grade. And it's reviewing a lot of things that she knows, and then it's also um, combining things like three digits subtraction which is definitely at the end of the year of first grade so by that time they'll probably know how to do that so it's a really good review for that they're talking about fractions already at the end of the first grade and time so they'll have to figure out that that's 4 30 and so they're doing half past the hour so that's nice and then they're also at the end of the book they're adding just more than one number which is really cool patterns tally marks more word problems so this is the answer key here. So if your kids know that, I would suggest that you take that out. Um, but they have grades kindergarten through six, which is awesome for the independent practices, perfect for students of all levels. And this is really, really fun. I really enjoy Evan Moore. And here are all of their um, daily practice books that they have. They have Thinking, which I'm thinking about getting. It's a new one which is like critical thinking, which I really, really like. Fundamentals, writing, language review, reading. Reading would be a really good one because it'd be more for reading comprehension. So I might get something like that. That would be good for the summer to have them do if you're having more of like a relaxed um, homeschool time. That reading would be really great. Math practice. And like this, like for instance, this you can use for the summer as well. If you're just going to have them do a little bit for the summer and you don't want to teach them necessarily the next grade, you want them to review this would be really, really good. Um, daily phonics, or if they're very good in math, um, they could always do the grade ahead during the summer so they can get themselves ready for the next grade, which would be good. Phonics is awesome. Daily paragraphs, daily science, daily geography, which we have. Um, vocabulary, word problems, handwriting, and spelling. Yeah. So I am excited because I like, I like the fact that it's not stressful. It's very little amount of work for them to do. And I think this will be a good fit for us and the way we do our homeschool because it's very relaxed and um, it's a little, it's not structured, it's relaxed. We have a daily routine, but like I said, if, if you're running late or if you're doing a lot of appointments or if you want to work on this during the summer, this is a really good book. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Let me know if this helped you guys. Have you guys used the Evan Moore worksheets before? And um, if you are interested, let me know. Um, I will link all the information down below. They also have like homeschool bundles for those kids that absolutely love worksheets. So I will try to link that down below as well. I just realized that they had it when I was researching the stuff and they had me look to find what I wanted. So I did not know that. So they have a, a 
combination of a bunch of subjects that they get together and it's like a homeschool bundle and I think since you get in a bundle it's like cheaper than buying them individually so if you guys love work worksheets this is a really great way to go as well so let me know like I said if this review is um helpful for you I also have a draw then write Evan Moore book for grades one through three which looks really amazing and I will do a review on that coming up really soon for you guys so stay tuned to that and like I said if you're not subscribed I would love for you guys to join I share lots of reviews things that are working for us things that are not working for us um, for my first grader and my preschooler and I share a lot of books that we love reading and all of our morning baskets that we do every month for you guys so stay tuned for that I will see you guys soon